All right, so here we see a traditional uh, multiplier style question. We're given some information and we've got to figure out how to use it. So any multiplier question is going to rest on kind of this basic framework. We know we're looking for either the impact of a government um, policy, and that's what's going on in here, right? Increase in military spending. Um, or uh, we have a policy goal in mind, like we need to increase um, total aggregate demand by X amount how much of an injection in government spending or cut in taxes would have to be um, uh, used to achieve that policy goal. So first things first, every single multiplier problem, question, issue that you'll have uh, follows this basic framework. You're looking for the change in total spending, and this would be what this question is looking for, what effect does this have on the US's aggregate demand or total spending and I'll use this delta here as a uh, symbolic of change change in total spending equals the change in initial spending right multiplied by the multiplier so what which multiplier are we looking at here there are several multipliers so which multiplier are we looking at here there are several um, we are looking at in this set of modules the spending multiplier which is the one that it looks like we're going to use here because we've got military spending government military spending there's the tax and transfer multiplier that's the multiplier that's used when there's a tax cut or increase or a change in transfers the reason this is different than the spending multiplier is because um, transfers or taxes are indirect they land in someone's pocket rather than going directly into the economy and as they land in someone's pocket um, a portion of that will be saved before it actually gets spent so it's going to be a smaller more muted more indirect f effect on the economy than the spending multiplier and the last one that we don't need just yet is the monetary multiplier um, all function in a similar fashion they um, multiply a change in spending or in the case of monetary multiplier money supply into something much larger than the initial so it's probably clear here that we're looking for the spending multiplier um, we can do without these two multipliers for the time being all three multipliers function in a similar fashion as regards to the equation that you want to use for their problems so the size of the spending multiplier is defined as one over the MPS the MPS is the marginal propensity to save that proportion of every dollar that ends up as income in your pocket that you would save um, it's what you're not spending. So another way to say this is 1 over 1 minus the MPC, marginal propensity to consume. Um, knowing that every dollar's worth of income either is saved or consumed, spent, in this um, at this level we're assuming no taxes for now, so dollars are either saved or spent. And the intuition on the multiplier is the less you spend the more you save, the smaller the multiplier will be, right? So if you had an MPS of 0 0.5, your multiplier would be 1 over 0 0.5 or 2. Um, but if you're saving less, for instance, let's assume our um, MPS in this example is 0 0.2, our multiplier would be 1 over 0 0.2 or 5. So let's assume we're given that information, and you will, be have, you will have to be given that information. Um, either the MPS or the MPC in every multiplier question. So now all that remains is for us to solve this problem. We're being asked for the increase in total spending. What is the effect on the US economy? So we're looking for this. We know the initial injection is 10 billion and we know the multiplier now for going with this data is 5. So the change in total spending is equal to 10 billion times 5 or the answer the US economy will expand by 50 billion after the initial injection of 10 billion of new military spending after all is said and done and the 10 billion ends up in everyone's pockets and then 80 percent of that is respent and that lands in somebody else's pocket and on and on and on and there you have it